everyone, I am the Crusher Hero, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about rising edge detectors. Now, that may sound entirely complicated, but it really is quite simple. All you need to remember for today's video is that a rising edge detector takes power and converts it into a pulse. That out of the way, let us begin. Our first detector is also the simplest. That is because it only requires two pieces of redstone, one repeater that's not even delayed, and a sticky piston with a block on top. When you press this button, the piston over here outputs its block. This is because this piston is receiving a one tick pulse from this contraption right here. For our next detector, we have one that utilizes an observer. Now this one's actually pretty useful because you can modify it in any direction possible. It can go up, down, left, right, and anywhere in between that. If I hit this lever here, we can see that it spits out the block, and then once I put it back, then the piston extends. This is because this observer here is facing the piston, and when the piston moves, the observer notices it, and it lets out a redstone signal very rapidly that powers the redstone dust, and then does a one tick pulse on this piston. This one is also pretty cheap as it only requires a piston, observer, and a piece of redstone. And so this may be one of the most heavily utilized ones in the entire industry. The mechanics of this design is extremely interesting. What happens here is this piston pushes a block that disrupts the redstone, separating this piece here from this piece. And it does it while you're pressing the button so that it's going to delay the signal and so it's going to actually shorten the signal of a button just by stopping the redstone here and now it's going to output a one tick pulse for anything except a piston which we have here so with a piston it's going to be a 1.5 tick pulse with anything else it's going to be a one tick pulse you can decide if that's good or bad when you're building your own contraption see here it doesn't spit out the block but instead it just moves it rapidly this next design is the only one that uses a dropper. To summarize what's going on here, there's a block inside the dropper, and when this button is pressed, the dropper shoots the block into the hopper. The hopper gives the block back almost immediately, but not before this comparator notices, and it takes a power from it, releasing a 3.5 pulse to that trap door. Now this is a longer delay than most of the designs in today's video, so you may want to use this if you need a bigger delay from a button press. If I click this here, you see it goes down and it comes back up. Another rising edge detector is the subtraction comparator one. This basically uses the subtraction mode on a comparator so that when this is powered, it takes the power of 15 from the repeater, then it gives 15 to the block and this piece of redstone, then it loses one power when it moves over here, so it becomes 14. Then when it goes back in, it subtracts 14 from 15, making a one tick pulse. Now the great thing about this design is that it's customizable, because you can click these repeaters and delay them however much you want. If I click this here, the block is spit out, and the block comes back. The next design over here is perhaps one of the cheapest ones in today's video. All you need for this one is one repeater, two redstone torches, and five pieces of redstone dust. It, here you can see from the top that you have three pieces going up and a redstone torch on the side of that block. Then this repeater here is delayed so that when you hit it, it's going to check the previous power compared to the current power, and if it's currently outputting, then this torch here is going to turn on, which powers this redstone, and it powers the piston. If I click this here, you can see you get a one tick pulse from it, and so on. Finally, we have come to the last design of today's video. And now I've saved this for last because this is my favorite in terms of mechanics, because it's just extremely cool. It's called the Locked Repeater Rising Edge Detector. What it does is that when you press this button, it turns off this redstone torch. By turning off the redstone torch, it unlocks this repeater, so allowing the power to quickly escape, turn on this piston, 
but then it shuts it off again, so it limits the amount of power it can have, turning it into a one tick pulse just like we want. If I hit this here, you can see it spits it out. And I'm going to try and get you a closer view of the locked repeater and see it unlocks and then it locks back again. Before I end today's video, I would like to point out that many of the designs I showcase are perfect for use in a 3x3 piston door or even a 4x4. This is because it will allow you to reach the middle blocks and to spit them out so that you can have a solid door. I have only tried these designs out on Java Edition, so don't take my word for it on Bedrock. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!